Hello everyone. Today we are going to project another first term, first term of hexagonal pyramid in inverted position by using method solid extraction. So let's take the problem. A first term of an inverted hexagonal pyramid of shorter base side 20 mm, longer base side 40 mm, and axial height of 65 mm resting on its shorter end on HP with two of its base sides perpendicular to VP. Draw its isometric projection. So for the given problem, assuming that this is the solid first term of hexagonal pyramid here, the side is 40 mm and cut face, side of the cut face is 20 mm. So the longer edge, longer base side is 40 mm and shorter base size or base side is 20 mm kept in inverted position. So the same is resting on its shorter end on HP. Axis is 65 mm long. So from the first base to second base height is 65 mm. Now resting on shorter end on HP with two of its base sides perpendicular to VP. So two of its base sides, two opposite sides, two opposite parallel sides of this hexagonal base these are perpendicular to VP. So for this direction, this will be the final position. Now, here we are using solid extraction method. So first we will assume that it's a solid. It's a solid means it's a hexagonal prism of size 40, base size 40 and excess 65. Then we'll mark corners of shorter base on the base projected somewhere here and then we will extract parts of first term. So first we are assuming that the given solid is a hexagonal press of base side 40 mm and of height 65 mm resting on its hexagonal base on HP. So drawing hexagon. So drawing hexagon first over here of size 40 mm and then we have to draw the helping figure for that hexagon and then we will project that helping figure along horizontal plane. So drawing a regular hexagon of size 40, here we have to take iso 40 because we are drawing isometric projection. So first step, drawing a regular hexagon of size iso 40, second step for helping figure, we have to draw lines parallel to and perpendicular to first base side. So this is the first base side. Now drawing lines parallel to the side and perpendicular to the same side from all the corners of the hexagon. Parallel to first side, passing through first side and parallel to the same from opposite side and then lines perpendicular to first base side. Now this is the helping figure. This is the first helping figure for base, bottom base or you can say for the solid base which we are trying to project first. And dimensions are here it is 40 and see size of the box is x by y. Now we have to locate the center, center of helping figure or sorry center of hexagon. This is the center. Next we have to project this hexagonal base here along horizontal plane by taking x, marking x along first iso axis because we have to keep this side on second isometric axis. So this 
side will be on second isoaxis. So taking y along second isoaxis, x along first isoaxis. This is the limit. X and y. Now we have to draw lines parallel to first and second isoaxis from these two points. So from the second point, line parallel to first isoaxis, and then from first point, line parallel to second isoaxis. Right. Next, we are not going to project or mark corners of the hexagon because this is bottom base and here in this space we will have cut face or shorter base. So simply from these corners drawing lines parallel to third or vertical iso axis length is 65. So again we have to take isometric length corresponding to 65. Drawing vertical line parallel to third iso axis for generate length of the axis is 65 so from all corners we have to mark limits of 65 again we have to draw lines from these points now we have top base and bottom base on the top base we will have this hexagon, this hexagonal plane or this hexagonal base is to be projected over here and here on the bottom base we are required to project shorter base with 20 mm base side. So first projecting corners of this hexagon starting from first corner say points are A, B, C, D, E and F. So from first corner, this is the distance for A, this is A, then from the same corner, B, now from the next corner, C, C to D, or from corner to D, D, next from the corner to E, Again from corner to E will be same and corner to F this is the distance. So we have all six corners of the longer base or upper hexagonal base. Now here for projecting shorter base first we have to draw a helping figure of shorter base of size 20. So drawing a regular hexagon of size ISO 20. Now for helping figure again we have to draw lines parallel to and perpendicular to first base side. See this is first base side. So drawing lines parallel to first base side passing through all corners of the hexagon and then perpendicular to first base side from these corners. Now we have another hexagon with its closing box to project Right, here size is 20, say x1 and y1 are dimensions of second helping box. Again, we have to locate center, so this is the center, center of the shorter base or shorter hexagon. Now here, first is we have to mark the center, center of this hexagonal base, so drawing lines, center lines from the center parallel to 
head perpendicular to first base side through the center line here also drawing line center lines from the center point Now, these are center, center of first base and center of second base. Now, we have to locate center, center of both top and bottom base. So, from the center, this is the distance or from the corner, from the corner, this is the distance which we have to mark here in the box and along y, this is the distance. So these are cut points of center line and sides of the helping figure. So from these four points, one, two, three, and four, center axis will pass. Here, this is the center line, top center line for top base, and for bottom base, again the location or distance is same. So, these are points drawing lines parallel to first iso axis from this point, we will get the First center line, then from the corresponding point, so now we have both center, center of top base and center of bottom base, this will be the center for the shutter base also, so from the center now we have to mark limits of helping figure for shutter base, so these are limits. So from center, this is the first limit which we have to take along first iso axis. Along first iso axis means from the center line which is parallel to first iso axis. So marking this limit here. On both the sides of the center line. Now this is the second limit parallel to y or y1. Now we have all four points. From these points, drawing lines parallel to center lines, or parallel to first and second iso axis. Parallel to first iso axis and parallel to second center line or second set, uh, iso axis. Now we have helping figure of shutter base centrally. Centrally means center of the bottom base and center of the top base. These two centers are in a perpendicular line, lying perpendicular to first and second base. So this is center for the larger base and the same center is for shutter base. Now from the helping figure, we have to extract the parts of hexagon of shutter base. So starting from first corner again, we have to repeat the process. This is the first point, first point, then second point, second point to third point, fourth point on center line, fifth point and sixth point. These are six corners of the hexagon. Now, for the solid upper base, upper base is completely visible. So, showing all sides of upper base first by dark pencil. 
because these are visible outlines and then we have to decide for which generator we have to use dark pencil so from the frontal portion from the front side these are visible generators so from first corner to the corresponding corner this is visible generator now next to first this is also visible then visible yes visible and this is hidden so will not show these two generators so this is final projection of the first term next dimensioning for dimensioning extending these two points extending or drawing lines parallel to first isoaxis from these two points for shorter base here for longer base we will last for solid axis so for solid axis these are central lines yes of observation preferably from the center of bottom base and lying parallel to second iso axis last solid axis from the first center center of the top base to the second center center of the bottom base please write heading the big figure isometric projection in your examination now please Try this problem on your sheet and if you face any problem regarding this question or regarding any other question from single solids or from other topics, please write your comments and suggestions on the comment section. Thank you.